Our next story is from India. And this is the story of India's Chandrayaan mission or the Lunar Exploration Mission. The very space mission that plans to take India to new heights. Now, India is all set to launch Chandrayaan 3, which is expected to take off on the 12th of July. And ISRO's Chandrayaan 3 mission aims to land the spacecraft on the south pole of the moon in less than two months' time. And this news comes with a confirmation from the ISRO chief, S. Somanath, who is pretty confident about the launch of the mission. The Chandrayaan-1 was launched by India in October 2008 and it was ISRO's first exploratory mission to the moon. Chandrayaan-1 was designed to just orbit the moon and to make observations with instruments on board. It operated for a total of 312 days and it achieved 95% of all its planned objectives. Its key findings also for the very first time confirmed the presence of lunar water evidence of lunar caves and also interior tectonic activity coupled with meteorite impacts. Following the grand success of Chandrayaan-1, Chandrayaan-2 was launched in 2019 and this was the first mission by any country to conduct a soft landing on the moon's southern polar region. All eyes were on India and Indians of course by their millions were glued to their television sets late into the night. A room full of ISRO scientists were watching the Chandrayaan 2's landing in its final stages. However, the mission ended in failure when ISRO lost contact with the lander module just when it was 400 meters above the surface of the moon. But ISRO scientists took this in their stride. They saw the silver lining in the data that was transmitted until about 400 meters above the moon's surface. And they promised the world that India will be back and will soon launch another mission. With, with valuable lessons that had been learned from the failure. And straying true to their words, the scientists from ISRO are now gearing up for the launch of Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-3 mission will have three major modules. The propulsion module, the lander module and the rover. The propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration still the 100 kilometer lunar orbit. The lander module will have the capability for a soft landing at the specified lunar su surface on its southern pole. And finally, the last module, the rover, will carry out the chemical analysis of the lunar surface. One of the main objectives of ISRO this time round is to have a stable landing. Chandrayaan-2 mission was unsuccessful due to a last-minute software glitch, and scientists this time round are not leaving any stone unturned to avoid such glitches. Now, earlier this year, Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft successfully completed several essential tests. And these tests were conducted the, with the objective to validate the spacecraft's capability to withstand the harsh vibrations. Chandrayaan-3 mission carries scientific instruments and particularly aims to study the thermophysical properties of the lunar surface. Further, it also focuses on studying other phenomena such as lunar seismicity, lunar surface plasma environment and elemental composition in the vicinity of the landing site. Another interesting feature of Chandrayaan-3 is its cost-effectiveness. While Chandrayaan-2 was developed at a cost of $142 million, guess how much the Chandrayaan-3 has been developed with a cost of? It's been developed at an estimated cost of just $77 million. That's almost half of Chandrayaan-2. Now remember, this is not the first time that India has launched very cost-effective space projects. India had stunned the world when its Mangalyaan mission had reached Mars at a cost of just $74 million in 2013. This was a fraction of the $671 million that had been spent by NASA on a similar mission. The term Chandrayaan is derived from Sanskrit. It means a lunar spacecraft. So this July, all eyes, will be, all eyes of the space enthusiasts and of the general public will again be on India as Chandrayaan-3 will be launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Harikota and we at Vion will of course keep you updated as things unfold there. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.